the Queen considered Meghan and Harry's behavior to be sheer madness. Not surprising, right? To many, their behavior has long seemed insane. However, the initiator of all this chaos is not Prince Harry at all, but Meghan Markle herself. It is she who provokes the prince into all these scandalous actions. Welcome! Please subscribe to our YouTube channel before watching the video so you don't miss any of our latest content. Thank you for your support. Similar assumptions have been expressed repeatedly. Most recently, well-known TV presenter Megan Kelly confidently stated on air, Meghan Markle made every effort to ensure that the Sussexes could continue this lifestyle. The Duchess of Sussex needs money, and a lot of it. She won't settle for less. It was she who convinced Prince Harry to write these scandalous tell-all memoirs. She needed the money they received about $20 million for the book. Kelly speculates that once Meghan has drained the naive prince of all his resources, she will want to trade him in for a wealthy American billionaire. The TV presenter has no doubt Meghan will not stay with the prince once their funds run out. Kelly claims that Markle will try to strike a deal in five years or even less. In her on-air statement, Kelly said, Remember my words, Markle will sort this out in a year or two, because Montecito, where they live, is one of the most expensive areas in the United States. She will want to replace Harry with some American billionaire who finances hedge funds and can support her the way she wants, the way she's accustomed to. No wonder Harry has to put on a brave face, trying not to disappear from screens and front pages, the Sussexes will stop receiving money as soon as they become less popular. This can explain why the Duke of Sussex, despite his concerns about security, appeared in the Supreme Court just a week ago. His presence was unnecessary, but how else would the couple make it to the front pages of practically all the media? When it comes to self-promotion, no one can doubt that the couple spends all their free time on it. But as for charity, they seem to spare as little time as, for example, one hour per week. That's how they work, poor things, to the limit of their capabilities. Kelly's idea that Markle is the initiator of everything is supported by writer Robert Jobson. In his new book, he reveals that even the late Queen believed that Meghan was to blame for the rift between Prince Harry and his family. Jobson claims that Prince Harry has long been referred to as Meghan's hostage, and official sources are seriously considering the possibility of stripping him of his royal title. Then he could be called Mr. Mountbatten Windsor. Simple. In Jobson's new book, it is claimed that the Queen was perplexed by Prince Harry and Meghan's decision to step down from the royal family in January 2020. The Queen was surprised to find that Harry was so consumed by his love for Meghan that, in her opinion, it clouded his judgment. The Mirror quotes the book as saying, The Queen saw the couple's departure as a missed opportunity. Despite her disappointment, Her Majesty felt a great attachment to her grandson Harry and hoped that he would find peace and happiness by moving from his native UK to the US. Jobson writes, Frankly, by the time of the Queen's death, Harry had very few supporters left in the family. Even Her Majesty, who had always held a great fondness for him, had grown tired of his outbursts of anger. She was fed up with the constant squabbles between Harry and his brother, which often took place in her presence. Then the Sussexes began publicly criticizing both the monarchy and members of the royal family. The queen was completely perplexed by such behavior from the couple and described it as utterly insane. Jobson also cites an insider who claimed Harry regularly called his grandmother from his new home in California, but she found their conversations quite difficult and tiresome and urged Harry to speak directly with Charles. There is also knowledge of a conversation between Charles and Harry. After Harry told Charles about his desire to marry Meghan, William spoke first and asked, Are you sure, Harold? Then Charles told Harry that he couldn't afford to pay for Meghan in the future, considering that he has his wife Camilla, William with his wife Kate, and their three children. It is reported that this angered Harry. The Mirror also reported on another excerpt from the book a story about when the Queen gave advice to the Duchess of Sussex during their first meeting. In a one-on-one -on -one conversation, the late Queen said she was so glad that Harry had finally found his love. Queen Elizabeth II advised Meghan to seek advice on any issues from Sophie, the Countess of Wessex. In response, Meghan said, I have Harry. 
Jobson emphasized that the Queen was surprised by Meghan's self-assured response. In conclusion, I would not solely attribute all the responsibility to Meghan, as it takes away the blame from Harry. Harry perceives the family's rejection of Meghan as an insult not only because he feels sorry for her, but also because he himself has distanced himself from the royal family and has chosen to prioritize his relationship with Meghan. The situation is complex and involves multiple factors and individuals. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this. Your support means a lot to me. See you in the next video.